Hi folks, welcome to another Teddy Bits. Are you tired of listening to Christmas carols on that tinny smartphone speaker? Well, despair no more because Sony's SRS XB10 is here to help you fill the halls with the sounds of snowmen and silver bells. So let's take a look at the specs on this little guy. You've got 16 hours of battery life in an enclosure that's water resistant, not waterproof, and that's an important distinction. It uses a micro USB connector for charging. It also has one touch NFC pairing. And as I've already demonstrated, it comes with this little loop, which is good for hanging it from a hook, I suppose. And it also acts as a stand for using it in an alternate forward firing mode. I got mine about six months ago for $69.99 Canadian or $59.99 US, but you can find it right now on sale for $49.99 Canadian or $39.99 US at a number of different retailers. So let's run through some of the pros. This thing is very rugged and portable, so you can take it around with you without worrying too much about it getting damaged. What about sound? Well, it sounds great and it's got really strong bass, particularly for something this size. And battery life, battery life is good too, which is great because that's what you want from a portable Bluetooth speaker. In my testing, I found that the Bluetooth connection is fairly strong and it can work through walls, but get a wall and a body in between it and it starts to cut out. And that's a good segue into some of the cons. Its maximum volume is decent, it's not great. And while I use it mostly in the shower, I do find that its maximum volume makes it a little bit difficult to hear some of the lyrics or more subtle parts of music I'm listening to over the running water. You can also sync the speaker to another speaker of the same make and model, which isn't a feature I originally thought a lot of people would find useful, but at the sale price, I guess, why not pick up two and sync them together for more volume? The other thing that can be improved are the controls. You press them through the rubber enclosure, so they require a fair bit of force, and they're not raised, so they're a little bit hard to find unless you're looking right at the speaker. Now, I don't really like it when people recommend expensive tech products as stocking stuffers, but at its sale price, this speaker is pretty affordable. So you might just want to buy it to stuff the stocking of a loved one or your best friend. If you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe and turn on notifications. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.